Hello and welcome back. This is part five where we're going to discuss cutting leather. Um, as mentioned in the basic tools video, we're going to focus on just using the tools within that recommended kit. We won't use the uh, round knives, skiving knives, French knives, all that fancy stuff that other leather users progress to. But as learners, beginners, we'll stick to commonly available knives. So let's uh, head across the workbench and we'll get stuck. It would be useful if I actually had some leather, which I don't appear to have got ready, so... Honestly, it's just a random shape. Honestly. <laughs> so, as mentioned in the basic tools video, the real important thing you need is a good quality rule. Ideally, you can see that one with a square edge, so you can run your blade along that. And as mentioned earlier, either a cork backed or in this case a foam backed. That just prevents the rule slipping when you're, when you're pressing against it with a blade. So um, again, we'll stick with the two basic knives, a heavy duty Stanley knife and a smaller craft knife. So let's start with a straight line. We'll take this thinner piece of leather, which is two mil and Generally, you work to some sort of marking. Now, to, to mark leather, there's various things you can do. Uh, I've shown you previously, you can use a, a scratch all, which will allow you to draw a line on leather, like so. Can you see that on the camera? Yes, you can. So that's one method of marking a line before you cut. Another method if I can find one, here we are. These are special, uh, not sure what they're called, but they're silver, silver ink pens, which are useful for leather work for two reasons. One, you can just mark a dot rather than actually putting ink onto the leather itself. You can mark a dot in the waist side of leather, and then you can use those dots to line up your rule. But the interesting thing about this particular ink is that it disappears if you apply heat to it. So if you warm the area where you have an ink mark, it'll just disappear. So a useful little tool for leather workers, available from um, eBay, Amazon certainly. So now you have your mark. By the way, you can also use pencil. You can use light marks on pencil and they will rub out with an ordinary eraser. So we have our straight line and all we're going to do is basically line up the rule so that the cutting edge of the rule is on that line. I'm going to press firmly and using a heavy duty knife keep your blade, the flat side of the blade, pressed firmly against the flat side of the ruler. So as long as you're pressing firmly with the ruler and firmly against the edge of the rule and keeping your blade at a 90 degree angle to the table, you should get a perfect cut. If it doesn't go through the first time, just go over it again. And there we have our cut. So we'll do that with some thicker leather. Let's just uh, make this piece of obscene leather a bit more uh, politically correct. So again, this, this is thicker so it will require more than one cut. So that gives you a nice clean edge. Um, we use the smaller tool are generally better for more intricate cuts where you have a curve or rounding off a corner. So see we wanted to do a nice curve. The advantage of the um, the smaller blade is that one, it doesn't obscure the line, and two, because of its fine tip, you can angle the blade on a tighter corner. So if I did a corner like this, for example, you 
and this is quite thick leather so it will require several passes with the blade to get through it but using the smaller blade gives you more control over tight curves like this you could do it with a big blade but you'll find that your vision is quite obstructed and it's it's generally just easier with a smaller blade now another tool which i haven't shown you in the basic tools video but which is useful is a rotary cutter a lot of people like to use these and um, they've got a nice wide blade which runs nicely against the edge of your rule so again to use it all you're doing is you're pushing down and pressing firmly and roll over the leather until it's cut so again another advantage if you want to do a big curve say I wanted to follow the shape of this bulbous curve here a rotary cutter is very good for that because you can do tight curves quite easily I think this particular rotary cutter needs a new blade it's been used a lot recently and it's getting a bit dull but when they're new or when you've got a new blade they cut very cleanly so there we go so um, in terms of generally cutting leather that's probably all there is to it we will cover next the cutting of straps now a strap let me get one out is just basically a long thin piece of leather now you can do this with a ruler and a knife but if you've got a lot of straps to cut which often you do if you're making a lot of belts or a lot of um, thin straps like this for bags and things it's easier to use a tool called a strap cutter now what a strap cutter basically is is that it allows you to pull this through the leather and it will cut a strap of uniform sizes very easily now the important thing to remember before you can use strap cutter you must have a straight edge so when you get your big sheet of leather you use a rule first to get that straight edge and then you can run your leather through the strap cutter against that straight edge and then all of your future edges will be parallel to that and therefore straight if you start off with a wonky edge all your straps will be wonky too so bear that in mind so to use a strap cutter it's a fairly simple wooden device it has a big thumb turn knob on the top which if we release that there you go release that it allows this piece to slide and this piece if you look carefully is graduated with the rule markings and inside there I'm not sure if you can see with the camera there is a very thin and very sharp blade which is held in by these small metal brackets here so the idea is that you determine the width of the leather strap you want to make and you slide this along so we want to create a, a 20 mil strap we'd slide this along until we at the 20 mil mark and then we just tighten down the thumb turn so and then just give that a little nudge to make sure it's tight we need to decide how much how thick the leather we're going to be cutting is going to be uh, we use this as an example the leather needs to slide through comfortably without being too tight if it's too tight then you just adjust the little thumb turn on the back here and again just this knob here and set it until it's a comfortable slide through for the thickness of leather you're going to cut now we're going to yeah this one will you use this leather here as it's nicely see if it slides through easily so um just to make it easy i'm going to trim off that little bit there to give me so we've got a nice straight edge to start with now what you can tend to find with these is that the corner of the leather you're pushing through 
tends to catch on the edge here. So what I tend to do, just to get it started, I take a little sliver off the corner, like so. And that just helps it to get started. So all we're going to do is we're going to push the leather through the gap from the back, pressing against this flat surface here. So if we do that, push it in, see, as you can see, keeping the leather flat against the flat surface, and then gently push until you see it coming through the other side, like so. And once you've got enough to get a hold of, just grab a hold and pull. Try and remember to keep this edge tight against a flat surface, like so. And there we go. So we've got a perfectly cut 20 mil strap. Now it's it looks it's it's more difficult doing a short piece like this. Generally, you make a batch of straps in advance, cutting a long length of um, leather, maybe a meter or longer. So running along a long length is much easier, and you get a much better edge than cutting little pieces like this. I wouldn't recommend making straps with a strap cutter of this size. If your leather's this size, use a ruler and a knife. But if you've been making a batch of um, straps, then definitely this will save you an awful lot of time and give you a very professional end result. So that covers, I think, everything we need to know about the basics of cutting leather. Yes, so until next time, um, the next episode I believe is dyeing leather so that's going to be next time so until then thanks for watching and don't forget please click the subscribe button which is it's it's over there click the subscribe button and if you click the bell icon you'll be notified when we release another video so until then thanks for watching